If you look into the night sky at all the constellations and you imagine adding them all up into a complete sphere surrounding us, a complete map of everywhere in outer space, you end up with something like this. You end up with a globe, not of the Earth, but of our neighborhood around us. You end up with a spherical map of outer space, so to speak, or a celestial globe or a celestial sphere, as it's called. If you squash a celestial hemisphere flat, if you take a globe of stars and press it flat, you might get something like this. This is a double-sided disk with the two hemispheres of stars on opposite sides. So this is the northern hemisphere of stars, or the northern hemisphere of outer space, or the north celestial hemisphere to be more precise. There's the north star right in the middle. There's the Big Dipper. There's Cassiopeia. And on the other side, we have the southern hemisphere of stars. These stars in the middle are those that we never get to see living here in the northern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere of Earth. There's Sagittarius and Scorpius there. Now, if you take this celestial disk and put it inside a cover with the right shape, then it will hide the half of the stars that are down and reveal the half of the stars that are up in the sky at any given time. And it will even show them where they, whoops, I just realized I got this in backwards. The north stars have to be behind the north horizon. So this will show the stars that are up in the sky as well as where they are in the sky. So right now I have the Big Dipper low in the north. There's Orion high in the east. What do I have here? O Orion high in the southeast again. Furthermore, if you add a calendar around the outside edge of the celestial disk and a clock around the outside edge of the cover, then all you have to do to show what the stars are like at any given date and time is just line up the date with the time. So for example, let's say I want to see what the stars are like in the middle of May at 9 p.m. Let's say it's the middle of May and I want to see what the stars are going to look like at 9 p.m. I just turn the middle of May over here to 9 p.m. on the clock. I line up the middle of May with 9 p.m. on the clock. And presto, this shows me the stars in the sky at that time. Here's the Big Dipper high in the north. There's, what is this? There's Gemini low in the northwest. In the southern sky, I have the first half of Scorpius just coming up in the southeast. He's still, half of him is still buried below the southeastern horizon, and so on. So this is a paper version of a celestial sphere or celestial disk with the cover. This is a paper planisphere that I made when I was a science teacher for my students to use. When we talked about astronomy, we'd cover all the constellations, and then we'd finish by making this world map of all the constellations with a little cover. All the students would make their own planispheres. Well, when I started playing around with a laser engraver, I wanted to see if I could make physical versions of these, like toys or keepsakes of some kind. So I started just by laser engraving the design into wood. Hobby plywood and basswood are both pretty cheap. I really like using basswood because it's got a nice soft texture to it. If I sand the edges nicely, then it turns very easily without grabbing or sticking inside the, the disc. So the wheel turns very nicely, but it still doesn't fall out. There's enough of a grip to it that it won't fall out when I turn it upside down. So I really like basswood. So I also experimented with acrylic. I engraved the design with into the black acrylic with the laser engraver and then color filled with white acrylic paint. With the cover, I even used smoke acrylic or translucent, in which case you can see. Let me see if I can find a bright star. I don't know if this will show up in the video. Uh, let's see if that one. You can kind of see the star below the horizon. So this will even show you the motion of the stars below the ground or below the horizon. It'll show the arrangement of stars underneath you. So visually, I really love the black acrylic, but mechanically it's not nearly so nice as the basswood. 
it gets scuffed, the paint is wearing away, and it also sticks. It turns smoothly till there, but now it sticks until I pass that point. It also will fall out, unlike the basswood. The basswood has enough of a texture to it that it grips nicely. So visually, I love the black acrylic. It looks beautiful, I think. At least it did when it was fresh. Mechanically though, or texture wise, I love the basswood and I wish I could find a way to combine the virtues of the two. I also played around with different sizes for whatever it might be worth. I thought it might be valuable to have a teacher's version for a classroom, much larger and more visible. This one though has mechanical problems. I can't find basswood this large without having it be warped and the plywood just I can't get it to this I can't even get this out there we go this one sticks way too much so that needs some work and then I thought it might also be nice to have a little mini version for children or to keep in a backpack or something there are also a couple of instruments related to planispheres that I've been working on but those are in a much earlier or cruder state of development. This is an example of a nocturnal, this particular design I modeled after a, I think it was a 16th century English version. You face the northern sky, that part where all the stars just spin in circles, and you pick the stars you want to use as the hand of your clock, and then you line that up with whatever date it is on the calendar, and you swing this around until it lines up with the stars and then it tells you the time, so you can tell time at night with one of these. And then there's also the classic, beautiful astrolabe. This particular instrument is a, a replica that someone gave me for, as a gift a long time ago. There's the engravings on the back and this, the spinny disc has stars marked on it and you can use it to calculate sunrise, sunset, a bunch of different things. And I would love it if I could make a replica, if I could make a more modern version with modern equipment and modern supplies. So I was, I've been working on this design with the engravings on a wood backing and then the spinny thing with the stars on it made out of acrylic. But that's, this is in a much cruder state of development. It's, this isn't even usable and it'll be a long time before it is. So those are a couple other things I'm working on besides planospheres.